an amount of time has passed. Enough for the glue to dry. I'm silly. I'll definitely never, ever, ever be doing that again. So there's two things to take away from that. One is when I glue a fretboard to a neck, keep it the right way up, always. Just keep it the right way up. And secondly, is to get some better clamping calls and never use any that have got sandpaper on because I'm using glue. So why did I think that that was a good idea? I knew it wouldn't have taken very much off. I'm still at 42.36 millimeters nut width, which is pretty much where I want to be. Just over 42, so I can bring it all the way down to 42 if I want, and not if I don't. Uh, and at the 12th fret, 52 point six nine, which is fine, perfect. Um, everything's nice and flush now. Um, nice surface. I've got a little bit of a bump there. I think we've actually got a tiny bit, a tiny chip taken out of the mahogany. Um, the SIPO. Um, and luckily the fretboard edges aren't too rounded over um, because you're using the scraper. So now I just want to re-sand this radius it again really uh, and polish it up to 1500 2000 grit and then I can make sure the fret slots are the correct depth once again and then I think we're going to do a bit of fretting Can just make out the lines. Ah, one of Guernsey's finest. The super, super gentle. Be honest, I shouldn't really need to do very much.
tiny drop of glue and I kind of just like to Get it in the slot. Especially after I took all the glue out of the slots. I haven't done this in a long time. And then I just spray a bit of water onto the cloth. My truss rod actually comes out I'd say 10 millimeters further than what I want. Ideally the access should have been underneath of the nut. In this case now I'm going to have a very, very, very small piece of veneer over the truss rod. And I don't really know what to do about it. One idea is I could put the first, I could put the veneer on the headstock, cut out the area, and then just add another veneer on top of the headstock. So it would be 1.8 millimeters veneer on the headstock which means then I probably wouldn't put the veneer on the back.
that's it for this video. I've got done. What I set out to do was to get this fretwork done, which is absolutely awesome. Super, super happy with the way it's turned out so far. In the next video of this series, just have a little recap. We've got the body here. The body pretty much needs nothing at the moment. A few holes drilled, maybe, and final sanding for grain filling and then finish. So really, the bulk of our work is still to go on the neck. So at the moment, still got to figure out this issue of what I'm going to do with the veneers, definitely on the top of the headstock and potentially on the rear. We've got all of the neck carving to do. Uh, hopefully this volute can magically work itself out. We've got the final shape of the headstock to go for and I am going to go for the full open book style headstock on here. I've got a bunch of mother of pearl that I'm going to inlay uh, the Mosul Guitars logo on which I haven't designed for this guitar yet and we've got this issue to overcome here with the truss rod access maybe a screwless cover with magnets or something like that uh, then we've got to glue the neck to the body finish sanding grain filling and then finishing and then assembly final setup and then we can play still many 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 steps to go again a nut all of those other kind of things do the final finishing to make sure that the body meets the neck perfectly yeah we still got a hell of a way to go so thank you very much for tuning in thank you so much if you've made it this far in the video please leave a, a like please leave a comment of any of the answers that I'm looking for, any advice or any questions that you might have. And um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and see you in the next one. Thank you very much. See ya.